In this video, I'm going to show you how to celebrate your members who get new badges by posting a quick post to a space in your Mighty Network. This is a great way to recognize new members, members who have contributed, members who have hit certain milestones. We have a lot of automated badges in the community that I run. It's called the CoBuild Collective. If you want to see a playlist of how I've automated those badges, you can look at that playlist here. But I'm going to show you start to finish how to find the badge information and post it to your community. If we haven't met before, my name is Andy O'Neill, and I help entrepreneurs and freelancers learn how to automate with Make.com. Ironically, in my Make.com and AI coaching community, I have to use Zapier to automate stuff, which is fine. It's a good platform, but it's not my platform of choice. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to do what you're looking at right now on the screen. When someone earns a badge, we're going to celebrate that. So we say here, Al Simon has earned the Friendly Neighbor Badge. This is the badge they get when they introduce themselves to the community for breaking the ice and introducing themselves to the community. So I say who it is, what kind of badge they're getting, and why they're getting it. And again, this is fun to look down here and see all the people that are joining, completing their checklist, and introducing themselves. So you're going to need two things in Zapier to do this. You're going to need a table to look up the badge information, and you're going to need an automation that runs this and posts to the community. So here is the first table here I've got set up. Here is the badge name, badge ID, the badge art URL. This is the actual URL of the badge and why they earned it. Let me show you how to get that badge art URL. I'm in my community. I'm going to click over here and go to admin, and I'm going to go to badges. And so let's find a badge here. Let's do the Quill Master. You can see this tiny little badge right here in the list of badges. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Open Image in New Tab. So right here it's opened it. It's a little bit bigger, but we still want to get the larger size that Mighty Networks is saving. So right here I'm going to copy this. So I've copied the URL here from my browser into Notepad just so we can see it a little larger and more clearly. You can see here's the URL for your image and it ends in .png. This may end in JPEG for you or PNG, but that's the file name. And then the important thing is there is a question mark here. We want to get rid of the question mark and everything behind the question mark so we can get the larger original image for our badge. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to copy this and go back to my browser. You can do this in your browser if you want. Find it there and delete what's after it. And I'm going to hit enter and you'll see my image gets larger. This is the one we want to use. So you're going to want to use this full size URL in your table for looking it up and posting in your community. Let's take a look at the zap that's going to run this automation. First of all, we're going to have a trigger here and the trigger event is manage badge. And if we go to continue, the action is badge added. So we're watching some, you're watching some sort of action for badges and then we're going to look for badge added. You can also do badge removed, which is another option here, but we're going to do badge added. We're going to hit continue and we'll use a record here. We'll select that record and go to the next one. The next one is we have the badge information, but we don't have everything we need. So this next one, we're going to look up in a Zapier table. We're going to find a record and our table is the badge details. And we're looking for the badge ID. When we get our data here, you can see here's Andy O'Neill right here. This ID is the badge ID. We're going to use that badge ID to look up in our table and find the badge to get the URL and the reason they earned it. So we're going to hit continue. Continue. Now let's go down here to our create quick post. So we've got create quick post. We're going to create that in the community bulletin board. But right up here we have our post contents. So if we go back here to our post, you can see we have first name, last name, has earned the. So we have first name, last name, has earned the. And then we're going to put the name of the badge in quotes. The friendly neighbor badge. The Friendly Neighbor Badge is what we call in our community the Introduction Badge. So when you say, hey, my name is, you get the Friendly Neighbor Badge for introducing yourself. So we put the Friendly Neighbor in quotes, 
and then the word badge, and then why they earned it. So if we go over here to our table, the friendly neighbor badge right here for breaking the ice and introducing themselves to the community. So we're just piecing this together from that table. And then here is our image URL so that we have that. So if we go back to our table, here's the friendly neighbor. And then you can see there's the image URL. And that's how this automation works. Makes these really great posts in the community. And it just kind of, to me, it's exciting to see new people getting badges and participating in the community. If you're interested in learning how to automate your community or your business with make.com, I want to invite you to join the CoBuild Collective, my community on Mighty Networks. And if you want to see more ways to automate badges in Mighty Networks, you can click here to look at that playlist. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.